and they got brothers from the Bronx to call the Bronx to, um, the Bronx boys. They are the original B boys who started this in the old days too. Hello, people. Um, let me just say that I bow to every single hip hop legends today. If you Google Batch TBB, you will learn with all due respect people, where Rocksteady came from, where New York City Breakers came from, okay? And I'm not taking anything away from these legends. I love Crazy Legs, but at the end of the day, if you do the Bronx Boys Rocking Crew history, you're gonna learn something. I've never been here before, and I feel like I'm in the Bronx. I'm from the Boogie Down Bronx people. And this is the actual story. Him, Jimmy D and Jimmy Lee were going bombing, uh, right in graph. Uh, and that night that they were gonna go tagging, they actually didn't want to. They wanted to go practice. They wanted to be more b-boys than writers. So the next day, they, they uh, you know, discussed it and they spoke with uh, Batch, they, they, uh, the original president of TBB. And they told Batch, hey, we want to start a crew, strictly B-Boy crew, and we would like, you know, to get your blessing. But at the same time, you know, at that period, during that period, Rocksteady had vowed to always have TBB's back in case of any situations, battles or whatever, because Jimmy D and Jimmy Lee originally came from the Bronx Boys. I met Jimmy Lee, and, and Jimmy Lee is Batch's little brother, and Jimmy Lee was... Uh, they were all taggers. They used to go to the train yards and tag. And since Jimmy Lee became my best friend, we used to start hanging out together. And in 77, he took me up to Creston. And, I, you know, I always say, where do you go at night? And he used to always laugh. He says, come on with me. He took me up to 184th and Creston. And I saw his brother there. It was Batch. And he's like, this is my big brother, Batch. And I was like, what's up? He says, uh, we're in TBB. And I was like, TBB? You know, they had their shirts with their name. And I was like, what is that all about? And he was like, yeah, we were a, a tagging crew at first. And now we're a rocking crew. And I was like, wow. So I was like, I want to be down with you guys. So I started hanging out with them. And it was me and JoJo and Trace. And oh, my God, I can name a, a hundreds of people that we used to all meet up on Creston Avenue and we all were part of TBB. TBB was the thing in the Bronx and that was it. Uh, that was the biggest group that I knew in the Bronx and they were the, the best rockers out there. So I wanted to be part of the best and I learned from them. Uh, you know, the top rock, you had to learn your top rock before you could hit the floor. So that was one of the smartest places to learn. And like I said, over the next months and years, I, I, I took advice from other people. They showed me different things. And like I said, I just got better. You know, I'll never say I'm the greatest because there's so many really, really good guys back in the day. Rubber Band, uh, oh my God, We Chicago, yeah. Kid Rock, uh, all of these guys, Spy, Shorty. I can tell you, uh, there was some really good guys back in the day, man, and I missed them. Those are the days. I grew up like that, and those are good memories, so. And I'm I, like, again, if I didn't mention you, I apologize. Not that I'm, I'm almost 60, so my memory is a little bit bad. <laughs> so I can remember what I can. And I know there's going to be somebody who says, hey, that's not a little bit right. So if, if I made a mistake or I said something wrong, I apologize. I could blame it on my age. <laughs> but I try to, but there's some things you'll never forget. And I'll never forget the Bronx. I'll never forget TBB. I'll never forget Rocksteady Crew. I'll never forget the feeling that it made because, you know, growing up poor and impoverished, rocking was something that brought us to get. It brought us together. It made us feel like we were a family. You know, a lot of kids came from broken homes. They didn't have moms or pops or anything. They literally lived in the streets. And when we came together, we were like our family. And we looked out for each other. We didn't let nobody mess with us. We, we made sure we ate. We made sure we drank. We made sure we partied. We did everything together. And that's what was my family. That was, those are the memories that I have. And that's what made me happy. And nobody could ever take that away from me. So that's why I never worry about fame or fortune or none of that. Because in my heart, your memories are the strongest, realest things that you have. So. <laughs> historical crew man and I just want to thank each and every single one of you
that been supporting this people, this hip hop, this rock and roll organization. Um, even though um, my brother took it in 1998, uh, I just want to say we go back, respectfully speaking, since 1975, and that's something that we should all always be proud of and deeply take good consideration. So I want to say thank you. All of you that showed up, man, thank you very much, and I'm glad to be here and, and to share this special moment with all of you. Thank you very much.